inside the grounds so you can see those clouds there they're rendered properly this is exactly how my eye sees it no more no less this is on auto right now on the SFC channel Sony Xperia phones and PC hardware and gadgets Today we're, we're talking about Video Pro versus Cinema Pro. Now, as, as demonstrated by the video you just watched, Cinema Pro has a problem. It's not WYSIWYG, i.e. what you see is what you get. Basically, it may look perfect in the screen itself, but what happens is when you take it, the file off the screen and use it in the video editing software, you'll find it's too bright and the way to get around that is even if it looks dark or even if it looks your video looks perfectly exposed in, exposed in Cinema Pro always knock it down knock the um, aperture down by two notches darken it it may look bad on the screen but when you come to edit it and put it on YouTube eventually it will look just right now, have you noticed that with Cinema Pro and Video Pro, with Cinema Pro, you have to do an awful lot more color correction than you do have to in Video Pro. And this is borne out by my video that you just watched. So what we're going to do next is we, uh, the next video will be explaining how to use the uh, Video Pro and the features of it and other reasons why Video Pro is much better than Cinema Pro. However, Cinema Pro can film in 21 by 9, but Video Pro is limited to 16 by 9. And more on this in the next video. Please excuse the, uh, the lack of a shave and the black leather jacket. I've just come back from a heavy metal contest, uh, a heavy metal concert. Oh, it is like that, isn't it? There you go. Have a good one. This is the SSC signing off.